Good morning, all. We will be starting in a couple of minutes. So I request everyone, all the participants who are live on Zoom as well as on YouTube, to keep your pen and paper handy for noting down all the information that will be required. And you will definitely find it important while searching for a job and needing your first job in IT. So I request everyone to please invite their friends who have not joined their classmates, their family members who are looking for a first job, first opportunity in the technical segment. Amar Rajmani has joined. So guys, uh, it is already 11 and the schedule for the webinar is from 11 o'clock. So Amar, uh, I hope we can start now. Yes, you can start now. Ten is also join. Yeah, sure. So hi guys. Uh, hello everyone. My name is Siraj and uh, I'm the senior manager heading one of the vertical called XLR's Career Assurance Program, which comes under EDL, that is Everyday Learning segment of XLR. Now, XLR was founded in 2014. So before start of the webinar, let me brief you about what we are and what we do and what we provide. So XLR is one of the uh, pioneer in the tech segment when, where we conduct. Yeah, XLR is a pioneer in a tech segment where we conduct various courses ranging from DA, DS, BA, AI, ML or all IT courses. Uh, be it Python, DevOps, or any other course, you name it, and we have it. So we had founded our base in 2014, and we were founded by the alumni of IIMs and ISB. We have branches in Hyderabad, Mumbai, Pune, and Bangalore. And apart from this, we have recently started in Chennai also. 
So uh, coming to the association with colleges, we have around 750 colleges in our pool and we have trained more than 240,000 students who have benefited from our training. Apart from this, when it comes to the training, we not only provide technical training, but we groom when it comes to the segment where we also place the candidate. Now, placing the candidate definitely requires we having pool of companies with us. All right, so let me tell you that we have around 240, uh, 2,000, uh, 2,700 plus companies with us who are ready to hire from our base. And apart from this, uh, we not only train for technical, but we also have segments where we groom you for entire skill development that will definitely help you guys nail your first job or people who are looking for a career transition to get themselves onboarded into technical industry or specifically IT industry. We train them specifically to how to crack the interviews. Apart from this, we train them for aptitude, the GD, the PI. And we have one of the special segments, which is the TPIP, that is technical presentation and interview preparation segment. All right. So it is not only the uh, IT training that we provide, we provide 100% 360 career support so that we are able to give each and every student our special 100% unlimited job interview call guarantee. So it is absolutely for sure that if you have uh, you know, uh, uh, an inclination to get into IT and we are the ones who are training you, you can definitely be relaxed when it comes to the job opportunities that we provide because we have onboarded all mid caps, small caps and large cap companies to suit our candidate requirements as per their calendar. So today uh, we are happy to announce that we are starting a webinar on classroom to company, a journey that will help you nail your first tech job. All right. For this, we have Rajmini Patel, who will be taking up the session and who will be guiding us into the entire uh, brief about how to nail your first tech job when it comes to your journey from classroom to company. So about Rajmini, uh, let me brief you. Uh, he is a senior software engineer at Microsoft wherein he has completed his B.Tech in IT. After completing his B.Tech in IT, he had completed his EPGP, that is Executive Postgraduate Program, which is a one-year program in AI and ML from IIIT Bangalore. And Rajmini has around 10 years of experience, a threshold experience. So according to us, he's the best person who can guide you and uh, give you a walkthrough to how to start your journey from a classroom segment to the company and nail your first technical job. So Rajmini, I will be handing over the session to you so that you can take it forward and uh, give the best, in, uh, you know, your insight of how to crack their interview, how to nail their first job in technical job. Over to you, Rajmini. Hey, thanks, Raj. Uh, I hope my uh, audio and video is clear, right? Yes, it's clear. Yes, okay. it's clear. Great, great, great. Okay, let me quickly uh, present my screen. Okay. My, I hope my screen is also visible now. Yeah, it's visible. Okay, great, great, great. Okay. So let's just get started and uh, thanks Siraj for setting up the right context and, and, and the things that are there, right? So as the uh, the, the title itself uh, is self-explanatory that, okay, I mean, this webinar is gonna be about uh, what, a class, I mean, what are different things that you learn in classroom and how you can take it forward to the company and what are things that you need in the company, right? So how, how you should do that transition, what, uh, how your roadmap should look like so that you are able to make that transition much more smoother. What are things that you need to start preparing when you are in uh, in, in your early uh, careers or uh, I mean, uh, in the final year of our colleges, right? So let's just uh, get started uh, from there. So as uh, Siraj uh, mentioned, uh, 
this is my profile. Basically, I am working as senior software engineer at Microsoft. So here I'm leading their team for their apps and game platform. So any kind of analytics to the big, I mean, not only big part in any application that you can install on Windows system or Xbox gaming console. So all those analytics, their installs, health, trash reports, all of them goes by my team. So that's a team that I lead in. And I mean, uh, uh, you, you, you can relate more to me because uh, even at that time, but still I had my dreams with me. So that I followed and today, I mean, I have worked with multiple companies. I started my journey from HP. I mean, basically that was the off-campus placement. I came to Bangalore, looked for the job and then got that from there. Yeah. I mean, this thing was always in back of my mind that okay, I don't want to stop anywhere. I mean, until unless I'm not reaching somewhere that I'm very satisfied of. Right. And that's when it started back in 2012. Uh, then uh, after two years, I moved to Nokia, then Symantec, VMware, and, and uh, now I'm working for Microsoft. So that's quite about me. You can find more about me on LinkedIn. <laughs> I mean, you can you can just uh, go through that. Right. So, okay, let's just move on. So this is the agenda for today. Basically, we'll, we'll discuss about uh, what all things that are there in classrooms and not all things that are there in the company so so that the i mean the, the context is set right for you that these are the things that i need to focus when i am in my college days when in in the classroom so that it, uh, it my journey at company gets smoother because college is where you build all those foundations right and then uh, different tech domains. Uh, I mean, I, I I will be a little focusing on this. I mean, a little more because uh, nowadays uh, things have changed little dif differently. I mean, uh, earlier you just know the basics of the things and you were able to get the job. But now the uh, I mean the competition have increased. Uh, companies are looking for a little specialized people. You should know that okay, what is going in tech what are different things that are going in tech so that and you should identify your passion a little early so earlier it was like companies were taking you then you were like uh, they they will uh, get you to some training they, they will see your interest interest levels on different uh, fields and then based on that they used to put you to uh, different domains but now with with the startup culture it's it's very much the case that okay I mean, big tech, big tech, big tech companies, uh, or more majorly the service-based uh, companies are still uh, following the same path. But when it comes to uh, product-based companies, it's a little different. I mean, uh, or startups, it's a little different. They want you to do internship on some domains, uh, build projects on some domains before you, I mean, uh, even start your journey to to those companies. So. I, I have included this section so that you can get a brief about different tech domains that are there for which you can start preparing, uh, get your uh, interest uh, right there. Right? And then uh, roadmap to the companies, basically what all things that you can prepare, right? what all things that you should start doing when you are in college, I mean, in, in, in the third year, fourth year of your college or from the beginning itself maybe, or you have just passed out, but uh, you're looking for a job. So I mean, uh, th this will cover all those topics that are needed for uh, to 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 get you to the uh, tech interviews. Then we will be discussing briefly about uh, the various tech rounds, right? And uh, finally, your uh, uh, I mean, uh, tech job uh, applicants journey. Basically, what all different steps that are there in in, in the applicants journey, and uh, how you can ace them. Uh, one by one, we will we'll discuss that, right? And finally, we'll, we we have reserved half an hour for a, any uh, Q and A, right? So we'll we'll go through the things and for the for first one one and a half hour, and then uh, we'll we'll start taking up the, uh, the 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 questions. You you can use chat to put anything that you want to know, and just just keep your questions ready. Uh, when we are we are going through uh, different uh, sections. And finally, in, in the last half an hour, we'll, we'll take the session, right? Okay, so are you guys excited? I mean, if, if the context is right and it, it's aligned to what you wanted here, maybe you can give some heads up, I mean, thumbs up or raise hands so that I 
can get to know that okay the things are right okay great 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 nice okay so let's just uh, get started yeah so first thing is we'll we'll discuss about classroom versus company i mean the things that are there in in the classroom and the things that you need to get to the company i mean different maybe mindset change and there, there are multiple things that are involved there right so uh, i mean these are the few of the things that i have listed that you get in the classroom right you obviously get the theoretical knowledge right uh, i mean uh, when you have uh, some program or something is taught to you you get all those theoretical knowledge that okay i mean uh, this is how the systems are not very much into the practicality you work with the small systems right and uh, work, work, work with something which is like uh, more concise more refined kind of thing right you get to explore different areas because you have worse syllabus you even go through the physics chemistry uh, environment science and multiple other things right you have uh, i mean what are various books various things that you can explore uh, different areas that you i mean you are going through you can explore multiple programming languages multiple frameworks and all of them right you also get hand holdings from the professors right i mean or your college seniors for the uh, for some time obviously your your batchmates because uh, i mean uh, your professor will come deliver some lectures you will uh, go back see uh, uh, read, read through the books and all of them right and also you focus on individual problems so let's say someone tells you that okay you need to write up this program you just think that okay most of the time i have seen people uh, just taking uh, uh, a small even even the hard coded number that okay i will just take uh, a, a number x and then uh, put the pattern printing or just just take a fixed set of arrays maybe 10 elements 20 elements and that's it right but when 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 it comes to the corporate it changes drastically right and then obviously you get time to experiment and explore I mean, you you can just uh, explore anything and everything. Uh, you can do some experiments, think, see your surroundings, pick any problem, solve anything, right? Which is not the case in the corporate. So let's just move on. What all things that th that is expected out of you in the corporate? Okay. So uh, when you come to the company, these are things that are needed for you to be good there, right? so you need to have practical understanding of the problem any problem you are solving right you need to have the practical understanding of it you 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 cannot miss any of those things let's say i mean in in your college in case you are just uh, designing anything maybe let's say i mean flight reservation system so there you 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 can pick any area you, you don't have to worry about other area you don't your solution should not be extensive you can put uh, anything there and it will work right but when it comes to uh, the 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 corporate you need to see that okay i mean payment service will also be calling the reservation service user service will also be calling the uh, i mean reservation service so you need to have the right interfaces defined so that they can very well connected you cannot lose the payment history right you cannot just say that okay the payment system itself is not working so it's it's it, it's it's on that part that okay i mean you need to be very uh, precise on uh, things when when you are developing your uh, your your solutions are much more focused to one area as we discussed right that okay in case you are working on a reservation system you need to be completely focusing on reservation system by 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 seeing the overall uh, the, the picture of the system then you also have to have the domain specialization so uh, there, there are different domains as i told that we will uh, go and discuss so there are different domains for all these industry uh, it, it's very much uh, uh, connected so you need to have that domain specialization in case you are working for airline industry you need to know uh, from the business perspective that okay i mean this is how the airline industry work 
so i i have seen when i was working for american airlines so uh, so they, they they have even uh, i mean sent us to us to uh, for some time to see how i mean we were working for the customer loyalty program so they they have even sent us to the customer base see how the actual uh, i mean talk to the business people that okay, how loyalty program works what are different programs that uh, us airline operates with and all of them so you basically need to have the business context also along with because uh, you cannot code well until unless you don't know the business right so that is very much needed right so then you also have the code reviews and comments uh, i mean in uh, when you are in college you can write any piece of code you can write multiple for loops also still works you can define variables like x y z nobody bothers about it right but but when it comes to the corporate you need to uh, i mean there will be your peers your seniors uh, your leads in the company who will be doing your code review they will be providing their comments that okay i mean these are things that are good these are things which are uh, not good right so all of them you need to look for uh, you, 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 your presentation skills have to be good because uh, i mean any time you are writing code i mean you may have to present that to your leadership team that okay this is how this system work right so that uh, they are very certain that okay you don't have to do the design changes when it comes for the actual uh, uses in, in in the business right then obviously uh, you need to incorporate various feedbacks that you are getting from your product managers uh, your leads your managers so you may have to uh, get that right right so all of, all of these things that are needed when when you uh, go for the company right i'm just taking a pause for a minute just one second okay so uh, i mean uh, now uh, let, let's just discuss briefly that okay i mean what all things that are needed for uh, for for a good uh, software engineer right so a, a good software engineer obviously needs uh, i mean all all the understanding of various things that are there in the software industry right so you you need uh, i mean uh, data structures and algorithms you should be good because uh, in case you don't have the proper understanding of data structures and algorithms you may not be able to understand the complexity of the system that you are building you may not be able to uh, understand what all things that are going behind the system right so that's where uh, your understanding on uh, uh, the data structures and algorithms are very important then you also need to have a domain specific knowledge right i mean so i mean here the domain when i say domain specific knowledge there are multiple domains that are there you may be working on front end back end uh, data sciences ai ml space or any of those things so you need to have the proper knowledge on that tech right with, with i mean starting from the basics of it to the framework label like how uh, it it works for the million or billion people right you also need to have the proper understanding on low label design low label design is something that okay i mean uh, given a scenario you are writing code for that that okay i mean you you are creating uh, classes entities and then different uh, relationship between them and obviously uh, for low label design it's 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 very much uh, certain that okay your code should be very much uh, maintainable uh, testable and reusable because you cannot expect someone to write code daily right for a small small change we don't expect that okay you will change the code and uh, for everything you will change the de interface definition for everything because you you have dependencies with multiple uh, different teams right you you are developing something there will be your dependent team who are utilizing your services and then you have uh, you also have upstream where uh, things will be certainly defined so in case you just change that um, change your interface definition you put anything and everything there their system will start breaking and 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 the whole system the you the, the your company is building will not work perfectly so for that you need to have good understanding on low level design right then obviously high level design is something that okay i mean in case today something is being used by maybe uh, i mean 1000 10000 people 
but tomorrow let's say it's going to be used by a million or billion people how you will make your system much more performant and scalable is what goes in the uh, high level design basically uh, it it includes various software components like uh, i mean load balancers then uh, caching choices of databases different microservices communication between microservices so all of this uh, goes in uh, high level design then also you need to have good uh, communication and presentation skills because uh, you will be working with the teams and in case you don't have proper presentation skills you may not be able to contribute uh, to to the team's goal you may not be able to articulate your idea that is going be behind and uh, take the feedback from the others so to get that you need to have to to articulate your idea your way of thinking and uh, incorporate others changes you need to have great uh, communication and presentation skills right okay so now let's just talk about different tech domains pay a little much uh, i mean this may not be very much needed for you at this point in time but but as i told you that uh, things are changing very rapidly i mean it's now a day expectation from the college students or i mean the the uh, i mean the graduates who are applying for the job also to know various tech domains so that they can make their decisions they can uh, i mean because what happens is in case you don't have your interest defined you will end up to something but uh, you may not enjoy that work right and you will not be able to contribute to to uh, to that with with your full productivity so to get that it's better to have these understandings that okay i mean these are various uh, tech domains that are available so that you can align your goal towards any of uh, these uh, domains right so i mean here let i mean uh, first and foremost that i am putting is front end developer i mean there is uh, no preference no ordering to it it's just that okay i mean when it when i was uh, drafting it these i mean i i have just written front end first when maybe back end then data sciences and multiple other domains but there there is no uh, i mean don't make these assumption that okay if i am putting this first this have much more uh, i mean job security jo uh, job openings and all those things no it, 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 there is no relation between these orderings and the actual uh, industry thing all of them are very much import e i mean equal and important right so let's just talk about this so front end developer is a i mean front end developers are the people who actually build the user interfaces uh, for for the web application or anything that you see right any uh, website that you see the the uh, all those uh, i mean ui components that you see how the data is present uh, presented different drag down dra drag and drops and all those things those are developed by front end developers right obviously uh, in, in your mobile also i mean uh, you you have mobile apps or different screens are there so all all of them are being designed by front end developers right so there are different frameworks that are available uh, for front end developers so javascript is in general based for many of the things right for for the front end developer and also cascading style sheet css which is used for beautifying the things though nowadays uh, i mean these are just terminology but there are uh, very much uh, framework uh, framework based development have came you may not even have to uh, look into the exact javascript code and all those things you just need the basic understanding and with the help of frameworks you will you will be able to lead the things right so to name a few of them there is angular js there is react js which have various variants and versions i mean let's say you want to uh, i mean uh, draw a drop draw drop down in, in a web page you don't have to write the exact uh, javascript code for that you don't have to write proper html codes for that right uh, okay i have missed html here html is the most important thing that can uh, that that is needed for front end obviously so angular js provides all of them in in a binded way where you can just get the uh, uh, what i can say uh, get those components properly defined their uh, i mean design their layout everything is defined you can certainly use that so that goes in uh, for the for the front end developers then comes to the back end developers so back end developers are the people who are writing i mean server side scripting or apis for the front end uh, engineers right which can be used by ui ux in general uh, to to so so the data right 
so let's let, let's just uh, take take a uh, the the same airline industry example so the website that you see is obviously developed by front end engineer that uh, okay i mean this is how you will pick and choose uh, the uh, the flight uh, i mean which flight my i mean uh, source and destinations my dates and all of those things that you see different forms that you get to put your name your dependent name and all those things the your court passengers all of them so those are in the front end but now those data is being stored somewhere the airline data that okay these are the flights that are those are operating between these these dates and in, in in between these source and destinations right the front end will be making call to the back end apis that uh, give me this data these search i mean the user have searched for these things so all those things goes for the back end developers right obviously uh, and there are server side scripting also let's say you want to delete the data which is like uh, maybe 10 year old for uh, for the, that airline uh, industry right the people who have booked the flights 10 years back maybe the, the government have norms or you have your company have norms that okay you don't need need that data uh, uh, after a certain time so you can you can uh, use that uh, i mean in 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 uh, those forms okay if if my voice is not clear okay let me get other headset just one second Your voice is loud and clear. Okay. Anyway, I, I'm I'm connecting another headset, my that Bluetooth headset. Okay. I hope it's much better for the people. Uh, I mean, who were not having it. Uh, uh, Siraj or Amma, if, if it's clear now, I mean. Yeah, it's clear for me. Okay. Guys, for others. Okay, I see it, it's from Lakshmi also that okay, she was not getting it. So, okay, let's just uh, go ahead, right. Okay, so now uh, the, the, there are various uh, backend frameworks available there, right, which, which you can uh, use for all of them, right. So the, the, there is Java, there is Python, Golang, Node.js, and I mean, I, I'm just naming few of them. There are multiple other, I see someone have uh, ping Flask and all of them. So, I mean, the, 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 there are multiple others, obviously. I, I'm just naming a few of them. You can obviously, I mean, with, with, with different texts, uh, different things changes. So you, you, you can just look for that. But yeah, the, the, these are few of them, which I am just pointing out. So. With Java, there is Spring Boot. Many of you might have heard of uh, Python, have Django, Flask, I mean, even Golang, Node.js. So there are multiple uh, backend frameworks that are available out there for you to experiment and go on, right? So, yeah. Then comes uh, manual testing. And so it, it, it's a different, altogether different domain. So a, a developer have written the piece of code but there should be someone who should uh, try out their hands dirty on on the things before going to the actual uh, production right and that's uh, that's done by uh, manual testing team there are other uh, fields also so manual testers uh, they actually write the test cases uh, they uh, executes them they actually acts as the uh, acts as uh, i mean uh, alpha users kind of people and and they they they, they get some uh, testing uh, user credentials. They log in with that. They create uh, l l let's say the same uh, flight reservation system. So they will act as user. They will act as uh, as admin. They will create all of them. Uh, what you can say all, all those uh, flighting reservations. They will see if I am getting proper notifications and all of them. So it's it's their responsibility to validate the things. Uh, which developer have created for different use cases 
and uh, then then see if they are working before it goes to the actual production just think about something that okay you have developed something and maybe you have missed some corner cases that payment system uh, you you have not taken care of the things and without payment user you just are able to book your uh, flighting right so it should not happen that way so that's why a uh, job of manual testing or test uh, i mean automation testing is very much important right then comes uh, your uh, auto, auto automation uh, testing right so nowadays uh, you you have various apis various scenarios that needs to be tested now let's say you change one piece of code at, i mean somewhere right and uh, you have tested it you have tested that area but there will be 10 more areas where the things are and in case you don't test those 10 areas you will not be sure that okay the complete system is working perfectly fine now you 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 need to test that but as a developer if you start testing that you may not be having the knowledge of all of those 10 areas even the credentials may not be have may not you may not be, be having so that way you may miss some scenarios even for the manual tester if they want to test it it's like uh, they need to uh, i mean uh, they, they, for a small change they may have to spend 10 15 days to test the complete system so that's when they have came up with automation testing where uh, you define the inputs and outputs uh, very well in advance for the system right and whenever you make a smaller change what automation tester will do they will execute those script to validate all those different scenarios right so that so that uh, they they can get the report that okay all of those scenarios are working perfectly fine right so and that's how that's how uh, i mean the job of automation tester uh, works so and and even automation testing have various domains they have uh, api testing they have unit testing they have acceptance testing they have performance testing they have regression testing load testing because i mean it's their responsibility to put more and more loads let's say let's say something uh, you might have heard many a times right that okay flipkart will big billion days uh, sales started and then the site started crashing right so until and unless they are not putting that much load to the system those much uh, freak, i mean uh, the parallel uh, calls to the system they will not be able to come to know that my system will work or not right so that's when they have this uh, load test that okay will put they, they will simulate different users via scripting and then they will put that load all of them together to the system and your system should work seamlessly in case they see that okay it's not working seamlessly they will uh, raise the concern and the, the developer responsible for that may have to work on that right so that goes on automation testing then comes data engineering so data engineering is something that okay i mean uh, you basically collect the data store that data and analyze the data at scale right so as i told uh, that that uh, about airline industry you want to process large amount of data so that that can be used for uh, different interpretation and all those all of them right maybe some kind of uh, flight delays you want to investigate your employees data you want to in- investigate you want to investigate something like uh, i mean uh, that okay in which season uh, most of my flights are getting delayed uh, users behavior or any of those sort of things right so you 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 have a bulk data maybe tbs or maybe multiple tbs of data that you want to process for the analysis and purpose right so those things you i mean uh, you you need to use the data engineering uh, pipelines the, the, there are several uh, uh as uh, several uh, vendors who provides the the uh, the pipeline building tool via which you can use that right so basically uh, to name few of them there are sql queries right i mean in in case your data is uh, smaller you will be able to write simple sql queries and get them done but uh, in case your data is bigger and you you want to clean some data put it in in different tables for your analyzing analysis and purpose filter them so you can use uh, spark you can use scala you can use hadoop 
you can use snowflake there, there there are many others that you 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 can research so these i am telling just just to make you aware about different domains that are available so that you can find out your area of interest and then proceed uh, towards that right then uh, the i mean uh, there comes the uh, data science domain right so data science is the uh, actually the study to extract the meaningful insights for business right so let's say i mean um, you have given uh, some data to anyone i mean you you are collecting some data you the data is with you maybe reservation data flighting data or any of uh, those data now you want uh, to analyze that data so that you can take big business decisions you have released some version right some some new feature in 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 your product but but you also want to see uh, how that uh, feature is behaving in case we are getting uh, the the actual business impact people are liking about it or they 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 are not liking it what what is that so all of those goes in the data sciences i mean basically you extract the past data to make better business decisions and for for, for your upcoming releases up, up, upcoming features right well, one simple thing is let's say uh, i mean the 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 xbox domain that i work in right so in 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 the xbox let's say ea sports have launched anything maybe uh, i mean the cricket 2020 uh, 2013 or anything i mean this is very old release but yeah so and and they are coming for crick uh, 2015 they they want to see which all uh, things that are working fine which all pages that those are getting stuck uh which all type of games people are uh, playing uh, very much so that so that they, they 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 can design those features they can retain those features the, the the features which people are not using at all they can just suppress that why why to pay unnecessary to to that right and, and then i have listed few of the type of studies uh, or type of analysis uh, that are needed i mean that data scientists do the, those are mostly into the descriptive analysis diagnostic analysis and there are many others right which which they do to to predict let let's say a telecom company want to predict that okay i mean uh, which user will churn or uh, i mean uh, these all these uh, companies maybe uh, the the banking companies they want to have the users past behavior to see that okay which user can uh, Uh, um, we will not pay the uh, will not repay the loan to ch- check their civil score and all of them right so that that goes into the data sciences then comes artificial intelligence which is like nowadays everyone is behind artificial intelligence right and it have got a lot more hype post uh, this chat gpt came and bard or uh, bing search came so right people are uh, i mean uh, they 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 have even got scared of the things that okay if all the tech job will be gone because chat gpt will do this and that so i mean artificial intelligence is something that is totally in news nowadays right so it it something which combines computer science and the robust data sets to enable a uh, problem uh, solving right so let's let's say i mean and there there are multiple type of uh, artificial intelligence domains that are available out there to name a few of them is uh, let's say machine learning how 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 you should uh, i mean uh, define the behavior of certain machine based on the, uh, the 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 input so you you have a proper data set basically there is uh, trainings needed for uh, anything that you are uh, undergoing right so let's say you you are driving a tesla car right so they they must have uh, feeded a lot and lot of type of data to them i mean you can you cannot just get a tesla car from us and run it in india's roads because the signal is system is different the lane uh, i mean markings are, are different and most of the places it's not even there the the speed breakers have a uh, di- different uh, signal so what it does is and uh, in the artificial intelligence and machine learning basically it picks up the previous data training data it sees that okay i mean if this kind of scenario happen if i am getting this kind of images this kind of uh, i mean uh, signals this is how i need to behave right so all of those goes into the artificial intelligence and machine learning there is natural language processing which we keep on hearing 
many a days uh, now we uh, everyone have different tones uh, di- di- different uh, types to give commands right someone speaks hindi someone speaks uh, english punjabi or any of telugu tamil any of those short right so they 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 then they need to uh, make sure that okay i mean the language that we are speaking is speaking the tone at which we are operating still machine is able to understand that right and for that this is very much uh, needed to to feed those uh, different things for the for the i mean uh, to, to to the systems right then comes uh, automation and robotics basically uh, from with, with the automation and robotics i mean uh, there are different uh, robotic uh, things maybe drone is is some kind of robot so how it should operate you must have heard the news that okay uh, i mean the the companies are planning to deliver the stuff via a uh, drone so that they uh, the the delivery guys are not stuck in 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 the traffic right or not affected by bad weather and all of them so all of them uh, is uh, goes in the automation and robotics there is machine vision how a machine sees the system and operates according to that right and so the, the, these are few things that goes into artificial intelligence and all of these domains that i'm talking about they have their own uh, i mean worst domains that operates there but these are these are few of the pointers that i'm putting across right then uh, i mean at, at least these domains which i have talked about you must have heard or known so it's 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 not just uh, the uh, software developers but there are a lot more goes uh, in in back of the tech domains that are there right you have product managers so product managers are the people who identifies the customer needs and the larger uh, business objectives that i mean those can fit it uh, fit into the i mean uh, product features and then they articulate those to the uh, those to the uh, the engineering teams or with the engineering managers that uh, or with the leadership team that okay i mean these are the features those uh, people are demanding those should be there in 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 our things right or they are also uh, responsible for the partners requirement l- 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 let's say uh, uh, maybe ea sports have uh, different requirements than one brothers right so they, they they will identify the common features or customization for those partners then they will elaborate that to the engineering team that okay i mean this is how you need to build the system and they also track the efforts and the communication so they 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 are the bridge between uh, the, between the uh, the customers i mean the partners or the stakeholders and the engineering teams they they see that okay i mean uh, they are the people who keeps on communicating to the partners that, that okay this is what is being built this is the status of it and by this time you will get the the product ready right so that's that's the job of product managers and that's that's a great field to be in case you want to explore on that part right then you have customer support so customer support is something that okay i mean uh, in, in in case uh, uh, people are facing some issues and and these customer supports i'm not referring to uh, the the airtel or vodafone or uh, zomato swiggy chat support that you are pointing to right these customer supports i am pointing to the software side that okay let's say microsoft have uh, windows systems right and windows have some issue so what you will do is you will ping someone that okay or, or you will call someone that okay i mean i see that okay your software have some bug or it's not working for me right and those are the people who will pick you call or uh, will will respond you on chat they will uh, listen to you they will they they are also the tech people who knows many of the things on tech they will uh, there are certain steps to uh, diagnose the problem they will uh, go through uh, those steps and in any case the things are still not working they will they they have steps to uh, collect the logs and everything so that they can uh, inform the engineering team that okay these are the steps customer is taking and this is how it's reproduce uh, re- reproducible or it's transient in nature right so all of those uh, i mean uh, are taken care by customer support people they are bridge between the customer and engineering teams so whenever whenever uh, i mean you 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 cannot expect an uh, engineer to uh, 
I mean, a software developer to work 24/7, right? I mean, they 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 will work in during their day time. They will release the features, but uh, I mean, these customization directly doesn't work, right? You cannot expect that. Okay, I mean, someone is telling that. Okay, my uh, PDF reader is not working, and uh, a developer will come and assist you write code and deploy it in in Adobe system, release it, and then you it it, it starts working for you, right? This is now uh, not how it works, and so I mean all 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 of those things are taken care of by customer support people, right? And they also work with uh, uh, I mean they they have uh, various company tools to operate from where they keeps track of uh, this uh, the 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 support uh, tickets how how things are undergoing, right? So that's the thing. Just one second. Oh, why? Okay, so let's just uh, take uh, the roadmap to the companies. What are things that you are needed uh, to to get into roadmap? But I, I'm just taking two minutes of break, right? I just uh, I I will just uh, I mean mute myself for two minutes. Right, and take two minutes of break, and then then we'll resume on up uh, what all things that you needed to get into the company, right? So yeah. Yes. Okay, so let's just uh, get started, right? Uh, I I hope you guys are able to relate to me. You you guys have now, uh, I mean, a uh, basic understanding of the things that okay, what are different domains that are available out there for the for the software industry, right? Okay, maybe maybe something on the chat or uh, you 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 can raise your hand to just uh, say yes or anything. It will work. 
am audible i mean not sure Yes, am I audible? Yes, you're audible. Okay, okay, great, great, great. Okay, so yeah, let's let's just uh, take it further, and I hope you guys uh, are able to relate to the things. And now we'll 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 uh, uh, discuss how you can make to any of these tech domains, what all things that goes in these tech domains. Basically, uh, how how you can land from your college to the companies, right? Okay, so I mean, th th there are various things that are needed for you to to get into uh, all the all these uh, big tech firms, right? So or any of your job. So a uh, first and foremost thing, uh, you should build your strong technical foundation, right? The things which which uh, I mean you are undergoing in your college, you should focus a little more on data structures and algorithms, right? you should focus on problem solving you should focus on your programming languages right you should focus on your uh, i mean uh, databases different kind of things that goes there different frameworks as we have discussed and various development or testing or uh, various uh, domains here i mean that okay in case you want to go towards data sciences ai ml space or uh, automation testing manual testing uh, so you should focus uh, focus on uh, different uh, i mean uh, stacks that okay this is what this is uh, what my area of interest is and this is what i want to pursue right because in case you have identified uh, i mean after this uh, session you you can maybe go through the recordings or any of those short just uh, and and listen to them uh, a little more carefully when when uh, when uh, you think about that okay this is what interest me right so just just came up uh, come up with your area of interest and see what are different options that are available out there the reason why i am telling you this is once you come up with your interest i mean it will be easy for you to focus on uh, that uh, different things that are are available on that area and it will ease your uh, i mean journey to to the to the companies right because because there you they they don't have to get you and train rather uh, you already have this knowledge and you you can you can you can very well start contributing there from the day one itself right so build your technical foundations very well right then uh, you should focus on your core subjects even if you have not identified your things you just want to the, uh, go with the flow and all of them but still focus on your core subjects because that will help you in your uh, day to day things in the college also and uh, during interview also they are going to help you so because um, a focus on the programming languages different concepts of of dsa uh, databases are very much important because without that you will, you will not be able to store the things right your knowledge on operating system also because uh, uh, many many of the companies work i mean different companies work on different tech stack and they are solving different kind of problems right so so focus on uh, your your core subjects you have networking you have web technologies and i will tell you the reason right there are two kind of companies one who are actively contributing toward tech and one who are using the tech to build some uh, build, build the solutions right so basically you see there are two kind of companies one who are building the solutions and who are using those solutions to build another uh, real world problem so j j just to give you a simple example you know about uh, let's say uh, any company let's say uh, what uh, microsoft itself i'm just naming it so they have uh, azure right so azure is something that uh, all of the companies uh, many of the companies are using to to host the softwares right azure provides different kind of uh, tech stack where you can uh, host your applications uh, you can use queuing solutions and uh, distributed caching and many more right so azure is actually developing that okay uh, may, maybe a, a, a more refined you all of you must have heard about oracle right oracle creates databases right 
and now m many of the companies uses oracle's database to create the uh, various tech solutions like uh, i mean if you see any of the company any of the hospital also right they are uh, i mean storing their data data in oracle database right so there are, there are few companies which are using those solutions to actually uh, create the, the 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 system to to solve uh, i mean a smart stores uh, billing system and all of them to to store that data but there are companies who who are actually tech companies who are solving real tech world problem maybe creating databases queuing solutions different so for them in case you are landing up to all those companies you should be good with your core concepts in case you don't you you don't have a basic idea about networking you will not be able to uh, contribute things to, to the networking companies like cisco or juniper networks or the, the, there are many others right so they 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 expect you to know the things the the companies like uh, windows systems or linux or red hat they they are working in operating systems so they expect you to know basics about operating systems right in case you are going for oracle they they expect you to know basics about databases right and obviously web technologies is uh, everywhere to to understand the end to end flow right so focus on your core subjects because this is what you have learned in in the college you don't need a extra hand holding for that right now i mean this is this is very important for you to get a job or to to be job ready right i mean when you are in your uh, second year third year i mean it's it's never too late you are in your final year or even after that i mean to understand uh, a system uh, in in a better way the the good thing is uh, in you need to have the practical uh, i mean implementation of that which you have done your own right in case you start picking up any of the uh, system uh, you 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 will uh, you will be able to think from various perspective how a software is developed these are the features what all tech goes behind these features and those sort of things right so to to uh, to to uh, undergo those understanding right to undergo those understanding you can uh, start picking up project of your choices near you right in case you are in college you are just passed out of college analyze what all things that are going beside you maybe you are going to a restaurant and you see uh, they are making reservations for you or they are uh, doing billing they are showing you menus right so in case you can uh, in case let's say you just think around this solution that okay if someone visits uh, i mean my hotel right i will i i will not give them physical menu because someone can tear it uh, i mean it 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 gets changed many a time we may remove few of the things from the menu items we may add few things in the menu item we may increase the price decrease the price based on the seasons right so in in case it's it's a, a hard menu in in in, um, in in the form of files you cannot uh, it's not flexible enough you cannot change anything and everything there but in case it's in 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 some mobile let's say someone scans the qr code right and get the gets the today's menu in the in their phone and they can simply order it from here there right so it 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 eases your job of uh, taking orders going to them and then uh, talking to the customers and all of them so they just think i mean basically this is just one example that i have taken you have uh, all of you must have taken a uh, covid vaccine very recently right in last 2 3 years you see things have changed very i mean uh, differently right so you 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 can you can think of the uh, solutions how indian government or cobin have uh, should have developed the uh, things for uh, vaccination booking for you for your state for your district for your, for your things right so basically the the idea here is pick any of the uh, and and this don't have to go a uh, very big i mean you don't have to think very big from the beginning itself right nobody is telling you to i mean design an instagram or facebook or twitter today itself pick anything maybe smaller projects like let's say college attendance that okay i mean nowadays everyone have cell phones so whenever you are entering the classroom right you scan the qr code and put the attendance from there or any of those sort of things right so just think about those smaller solutions 
and come up with your version of solutions that okay in case i need to develop this this is what my approach will be right so that 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 will uh, and and start uh, discussing that with the people right who are using that let, let's say you went to the restaurant you can talk to the uh, restaurant manager or the waiter that okay how you are taking order and in case someone gives you these things i mean what's your opinion and uh, how do you think that okay what all extra things that should be there you can talk to maybe librarian that okay i mean uh, yeah, today you issue the uh, books manually but in case you need some auto automated software in case the automated software is there but still you can talk to them that okay in case you feel that okay there should be some refinement some uh, extra features that you think uh, they, they, they should have right so all of those things comes into the requirement gathering you can do your own right and then see if you can solve it differently basically uh, i mean you can talk to the people see if you can optimize that thing that's one thing in case you see that okay no optimization is not the thing but you may so happen that okay this is the feature uh, that i can uh, get there right so you 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 can find out the unique features which others are not offering which which can uh, solve the maybe which can solve the uh, the problem in in a little different way right then you need to think that okay once your requirement gathering your feature definition is done right you can pick relevant framework in in case and you you can do it in your teams right that okay i will do the back end you do the front end and there will be someone who will be working on database side so you 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 can separate there will be someone who will act as product managers and they can go talk to the people or uh, come up with the features that okay these are the features that should be there so you you can operate in teams put a github repository and start contributing there right you you can have someone from the uh, for for the testing someone writing automation test cases so um, i mean you 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 can operate it as you are working for for the corporates you are actually developing those features and uh, it may so happen, happen that okay you might have built a great product there even if you are uh, you are doing it redundant thing let's say let's say a simple college attendance or library management system nowadays most of the colleges have it but still if you build you will uh, 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 go through various challenges various problems that uh, different people who were implementing it during that time have got right at least your understanding towards the system will change right and then obviously implement the solution talk to the stakeholders talk to the people who are using those kind of systems so them uh, your system ask for the feedback maybe you can uh, talk to your colleagues in case you are searching for a job and you you have other pg mates you can just go to them tell them that okay these are the things that i have developed in case you have some feedback to give right so that way you are even if i mean uh, the getting into the internship if you get to it nothing like that but even if you you haven't got the internship but but still if you do these things you will have much more knowledge than a person who is doing actual internship in the job right because here you have seen that okay this is how the complete uh, i mean uh talking to stakeholders uh your requirement gathering identifying the right tech you have done all of them right so that way you are you are much more mature than your peer who is doing internship right so so have have this in back of your mind start doing this uh from from today itself maybe uh pick pick smaller problems you don't have to think that okay it will be used by million or billion people right but but just write some code to get those interfaces in place right then you also need to have a uh, certain certifications and internships so the, the, there are various uh, organizations who provide certificates to uh, to to uh, the the people you you can use various platforms right and the reason why certificates are very much important for uh, you to get your first job is because that shows your enthusiasm towards tech in case you have uh, many and many certifications from uh, different organizations different kind of certifications that shows that okay you are capable of handling different tech stacks 
you have done it in the past where uh, while you were given the chance and you will be able to deliver it 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 in into the future also so geeks for geeks i mean i am just naming few of them this is not the extensive list and you you can just go and research this is just to give you a brief idea about that okay these are the things that goes there right so geeks for geeks provides uh, some kind of certifications where you can go solve daily challenges and if you do it for a week or two i think uh, they give you a certificate also and they give you free t-shirts also right so that that's just a motivation that i'm putting across so just go and and start solving the problems there uh, spring have for java and i'm not sure for others but at least for java i have seen they have a uh, spring board where i mean it, they they have uh, i mean proper ui and dashboard for spring board you can go register there and then uh, i mean solve those problems they are, they they give you video tutorials you can complete those tutorials then they will take certain exams and in case you pass that exam you will get the certificates and also they give preference while hiring to to uh, all all these people when while uh, i mean uh, undergoing the things right then you have uh, ocjp i mean uh, oracle certified uh, java professional so that's for uh, majorly towards the java tech that uh, i mean and and companies do value this certification at least very much right and uh, then you have you have uh, yes so there there there, there are uh, multiple ways to uh, get certificates uh, you can attend any of uh, these uh, webinars you can get the certificates you can attend uh the the trainings by uh, xlr or there are multiple uh, companies who provide you trainings and you 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 can get those certifications right so just uh, and the, the, there are coursera certifications also which uh, uh, which you get from the foreign universities you can just uh, go and explore uh, that domain also right uh, on the similar lines uh on the similar lines uh, i mean for the internship i mean you you can watch the career sites of many of the companies many companies you 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 can put the an in, internship in in tech companies and you will get extensive list and their career pages where i mean they they list their internship opportunities so go search them apply them right look 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 for the relevant one which i mean which interest you and then just uh, go apply there right there are in, in the nokri.com also there are so many uh, internship opportunity opportunities mentioned there go use that uh, microsoft have microsoft engage so you can utilize that uh, i mean uh, tcs have their uh, ac program uh, walmart have walmart grad program the, i mean the, this is not the extensive list there are almost all the companies have their internship programs and many of them takes off campus also so just just uh, search for them and 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 then see uh, where you can get it right then uh, there are various uh, i mean uh, coding practice platforms right like hacker rank hacker earth geeks for geeks lead code so just just go and uh, what where you are learning from any uh, anywhere right you are learning from xlr or anywhere just go and 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 see uh, i mean uh, the 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 things that uh, are working for you solve more and more problems in this so that you don't get uh, you you you, you uh, leave leave out the fear of uh, i mean our nervousness during the actual interview right so do practice more and more on uh, these platforms right then comes uh, interpersonal skills right so you need to be good with the communication as i already mentioned i will not take much time on this but uh i mean as i already mentioned you will be working uh, with, with the teams you are not the only one who is contributing to the success of that product so you have to communicate with others you need to take their feedbacks uh, communicate your ideas to them so for that interpersonal skills are very much important right so try to build that with your peers right uh taking a uh, mock interviews kind of thing practicing it in front of mirror or any of those sort of the things that you can do you can start participating more and more into discussions 
try to i mean english is not should not be the only language but that's how the industry operates because we are working for the big corporate so try to uh, participate in discussions try to use uh, english as your primary language for some time i know you will not get feel for the for the whole day but uh, set up a micro uh, environment kind of thing that okay for next 30 minutes we'll discuss we'll pick any topic uh, from the current affairs maybe floods in delhi or what you are work from home hybrid work from home our college library or any of those sort i mean you you don't have to discuss on the total uh, i mean uh, what i can say the big topic is itself you can pick any topic which you all knows i mean which which all of the people in the in the group knows and then participate in those discussions um, try to improve your communications there right try to uh, i mean prepare some presentations whenever you are building any project or any of those sort of things or pick any topic pick pick any tech topic i have discussed various uh, tech domains so you can pick any topic i mean may, may, maybe you, you you are a group of four or five people i mean someone can prepare on a uh, topic x someone can prepare topic or uh, topic on um, uh, i mean someone can prepare a presentation on topic y and then all four people will be i mean four people will be sitting and one person will be presenting i mean others can do cross questioning and all those things so that way you will improve your presentation skills and then obviously develop a uh, leadership skills when you are working in teams try to act as leader don't i mean and leader is not someone who takes all the credits but a leader is someone who actually uh, works towards the success of the team right so see how you can develop those leadership skills uh, for anything basically uh, by by assigning tasks to your peers by seeing the overall progress on the things by i mean setting up the right example in front of others right so do develop interpersonal skills those are very much important which you need uh, to crack your uh, tech jobs and also when once you land up to the job right then uh, you need to have your uh, strong personal presentation right because because uh, while while companies are shortlisting uh, your cvs they i mean for them all the uh, 10000 people or 20000 people or 1 lakh people who are applying for the same job they are same they are just the objects now how you can be uh, stand apart is by having your great cv and when i say great cv it doesn't mean that okay you need to have all those fancy words a great picture while you are standing on a hill station no doesn't mean that it only means that okay you need to showcase your uh, i mean skills in the right way you need to highlight those uh, i mean eye catching keywords that okay these are the things that goes along with the things right you need to mention your uh, certifications you need to mention your projects that you have done your own contribution to that project right so all of those things should be in in your cv same all, all of those things should go in in the linkedin profile also right so that in uh, and and you can start making your linkedin connections really really strong uh start participating in offline meetups there are so many offline meetups those happens ac- across the cities right or in case it's not happening you can initiate them right it doesn't uh, have to very uh, what you can say uh, budget ex- i mean expensive uh, budget you can you can you can just uh, start doing it within your college or within your pg or whatever it is right that okay we'll meet uh, we'll will do collaboration with other colleges and the people will go participate maybe you can invite some guest uh, so, some person who is working in all these big tech, big tech companies to grab the attention of the people they can guide you on on the meetups right so build those connections and obviously uh, there there are so many online and offline hackathons happens across the uh, the the cities right it's not just happen in bangalore or mumbai but uh, there, there are so many online uh, hackathons also happens in hacker earth hacker rank so just go explore uh, those things also right because because when you start participating on hackathon you will uh, get chance to present your ideas to various people you will form teams you uh, and today let's say you have fo- you have form team with someone but tomorrow you may uh, meet someone uh, who have right vision like you to to take the product forward so you 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 you, you can uh, build those teams in those hackathons also so do participate on those hackathons right 
now let's just talk about various uh, interview rounds those happens and their expectations i have not put a very detailed slide on this i just wanted to just touch base upon things because this uh, we have discussed it in our last webinar so maybe uh, i mean uh, siraj can provide you the link to the the, the previous webinars where, where i have discussed about uh, these uh, different uh, tech rounds in very detailed right which which can which you can just go and look for it right so i i let's just, let's just uh, get started on this uh, uh, on the different tech rounds right so you i mean the the first and foremost round that in general companies take about aptitude test where they want to check your general ability right the basic questions on mathematics time and speed i mean not on the differentiation and integration no it's it's basic on time and speed probability percentage and all of them it also uh, needs the uh, maybe uh, questions on general ability mostly this is like mcqs where uh, i mean questions on seating arrangements or uh, blood relations and all of those kind of questions that you can expect there then you also have uh, group discussions many of the companies conduct uh, group discussions because uh, they feel that okay the person should be comfortable in the group when they are onboarding someone so they conduct group discussion so just just uh, go through uh, the the previous recordings to get more insights of what all things that goes into the group discussion but it it's some kind of setup that where 8 to 10 people around you will be sitting across in in a round table or so and then uh, you will be given a topic and you are supposed to either uh, i mean go in uh, for or against to that topic right so pick a side practice a little more and this this doesn't have to do may, uh, many a times with the general awareness but this have to do with your communication skills right then many of the companies nowadays are taking online assessments maybe they will give you uh, i mean two to three uh, dsa or problem solving uh, problems where uh, and they will give you 30 minutes 45 minutes one hour or sometimes three hours also to come up with your own solution there will be test cases uh, tagged to all those problems and you you are expected to write code to to solve those problems or to to come up with the solution right so that's it and uh, then a uh, few companies takes uh, i mean c c++ java or dbms uh, mcqs also so be ready with uh, the the i mean uh, with with your basics to clear this round right then there is a technical round where your knowledge on your core subjects obviously and then i mean in general 90% of the time it's uh, related to programming or sql basically your understanding on java c c++ python or what your programming language that language that you undergo and then sql but but there are uh, many company who wants uh, freshers to know on the uh, the the core subjects also like uh, operating systems or networking so as we discussed previously do prepare on your core subjects also right then comes a uh, project related round so and and this is very interesting round i can say because this is where uh, the the decisions are made that okay whether you will be able to perform well in the job and it shows your enthusiasm towards tech right so that's where uh, they they discuss any project that you have done in the past and in case you have done some internship you can pick that project but even if you have not got any internship don't worry about that in case you have your own built product which you have built for sm a small set of people that also uh, really works and this i am telling you from my personal experience i did uh, i mean two three projects when i was in my college one of them were library management system i have worked for uh, a few of the corporates i mean smaller corporates where i have worked for one uh, construction company to uh, look for uh, their, their their uh, i mean uh, vendors the the uh, material that is coming in and the trucks that those are going out what was the weight and all of those kind of things that i have developed during my college days and i got obviously some some uh, money for that but it's not just about money but uh, that project have really helped me during my interviews right if if i say someone that okay i have built this thing um, i mean from scratch they they simply jump on uh, to to that project that okay okay 
give me the brief idea how you have worked on that who all were involved on this what all different phases how you have built on that so your entire round will be easily be cake walk for you to clear that and that person will be very uh, and this you have prepared very well this th these are the questions that you are not expecting out of blue moon right this you know how to answer these questions because you have worked on this project right so that way it becomes very important for you to go uh, and uh, nail your uh, project related round and then obviously we have real round uh, or hr round is something that will be focused on your strengths your weaknesses i mean your uh, long term goal short term goal what what do you want to achieve in your life so all those kind of questions that you can prepare uh, for for your behavioral or hr round right so these are in general uh, um, interview rounds that goes uh, during your uh, i mean uh, tech i mean for, for for your first job these are the rounds that are uh, that you need to clear i mean i have listed 7 8 uh, i mean you don't have to go through 7 uh, 8 rounds hardly it's three or four rounds in general the companies take out of which one is your uh, online test and one is uh, your hr or behavioral round so generally two technical discussions that they do and in case you have built a good project around you 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 can simply uh, get them to towards your comfort zone your uh, project things that you have built and people are very much interested is what i have seen for uh, for for your uh, implemented project rather than just asking you some random question on uh, strings or arrays or anything right then uh, these these are the steps that goes for a tech job applications right you prepare for the interviews right i mean and for the preparation i have discussed in detail that okay these are the things that are needed but obviously you can refer to my uh, previous webinar obviously then uh, you need to build your cv right which is very much important because until unless you don't have a, a great cv i mean uh, you can you can uh, you you will not be able to showcase that okay this is what i have done so you need you need to be uh, you you need to have your uh, cv across you right just one second my battery this time is low okay so yeah so you you need to have your cv ready right maybe you can you can attach your github uh, repo or obviously your uh, hacker rank hacker rank your certifications you can upload your uh, all the certificates that you have obtained to to one place one google drive and then give put that link to your cv so that also obviously works then you can uh, shortlist suitable roles for you right you 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 can uh, based on your interest and uh, based on your technical knowledge you can you can start going through different uh, openings that are there with different companies maybe via their career site nokri.com insta hire linkedin uh, post or anything so you can, you can you can search for uh, i mean you can shortlist suitable roles apply for those roles right and once you apply for it just forget about it i i see many of the people getting stuck there that okay i have applied there why have not got calls for this my friend have got calls for this no you should not be bothered about the call actually you should bothered about the day i will get the call whether i am ready for that uh, um, to to crack that interview or not right so that's the kind of attitude that you need to carry right and obviously once once you and then then you get the interview call once you get the interview call they will discuss with you your availability for for the uh, interview rounds maybe they, they 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 will start with the online assessment where they will give you a link and then they will give you 2 3 days of time that okay within 2 3 days you need to complete this and then followed by uh, interview discussions right and then once interview discussions are done companies do consolidate with uh, various interviews that they have taken and then they have a brief discussion uh, with the hiring panel that okay i mean uh, these are the candidates which we have shortlisted these are their ratings and this is where they are good or uh, i mean bad at and uh, then they will start uh, i mean prioritizing your thing basically they will put you in into the ratings and let's say they have they have, they have shortlisted maybe 10 people after final round but they just have five openings so they will i mean uh, give ranking to your cvs or you how you have performed during interview and then they will uh, talk to those five people then they will uh, 
discuss the offer in general uh, with for for the freshers for the first job the uh, the ctc discussion in general doesn't happen they simply communicate you that okay this is what we will be giving you but yeah uh, they 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 prepare the offer letter they give it to you and then they communicate the joining date to you and on the day of you joining you may have to uh, go to the company i mean there are uh, nowadays they they have virtual uh, joining also and uh, physical joining also so based on company's preference based on your preference your uh, they, they will decide a date for your day one and then you can just go and uh, join them there will be joining formalities and everything you may have to sign a lots and lots of the things but yeah that's how your day one goes so this, this is the complete uh, applicant journey how it goes right but obviously first two things you have very much control on and others you don't have very much control on so be uh, i mean be uh, focused on this thing that okay how i should prepare how i should uh, i mean uh, what i can say how i should be very much ready that okay the day i get the interview i should be able to crack it right and i have not seen people uh, getting uh, not getting interviews right the the only thing is yeah you may not get uh, a, an interview every day right or every week but even if let's say you are getting once in a month but in case you are ready you will not be able to crack maybe in the first place second place but in in third attempt you will be able to crack that right so even if you are getting one interview call in a month or in two weeks it's much more than sufficient so i i i saw people uh, uh, crying for this that okay i'm not getting interview calls so they have they have attended seven to eight interviews and they have failed there and still they are uh, cribbing for it that okay i'm not getting interview calls no focus on your basics on your core strengths so that even if you are getting a single interview calls you are able to crack that so just be ready with that right so with that yep i mean i am done with my content just i mean i hope you all land up to your first day of job very soon right when you are ready with that right so yeah with that i am done with the things uh, so So, so yes so now we will be getting into the q and a that is the question and answer session before that uh, just a small announcement from excelot so guys we will be starting with a new training uh, 100% free of cost which is a campus recruitment training starting from tomorrow that is from monday to friday 17th of july to 21st of july the time will be from 7 pm to 9 pm this will be a complete 10 hours training on campus recruitment segment where you will be given an insight on verbal the spoken english section and the aptitude preparation so be a part of it and uh, make sure that you extract the optimum output from the entire thing so with this i would like to ask amar to please share the campus recruitment training registration link and apart from this uh, also send in the feedback form <clears throat> and in case any of the candidate who is there live right now with us if you want a one on one counseling where you can talk to the experts and the counselors on any question and every question that is there in your mind which will help you land a better job you please uh, fill up the career counseling segment form and we will definitely make sure that you are reached out and every query that you have is properly answered and you have the optimum output from our side all right apart from this uh, like i mentioned that uh, we have around uh, 2700 plus companies on board it which include all the mid caps the small caps and the large caps and also to give you a proper heads up on what exactly we do we train you and also we guide you with the placement opportunity but to bridge the gap between the training and the placement opportunities there has to be a specialized training which will help you get a proper job or crack the job for a job interview to be very specific so now we train you for that speciality as well so there is a segment there are segments that will train you for mock interview they will uh, they, uh, we will train you for the aptitude for the gd for the pre i for the resume building session for the linkedin profiling session 
So every optimization when it comes to your career guidance and your career landing in a proper, accurate career opportunity, we are there to guide. And over and above, unlike any other platform, we are the one who are providing unlimited job interview call guarantee. That is hundred percent for sure. So there are people who have got around forty plus job interview calls. All right. So no matter which background, which domain you are. we are there to help you with each and every aspect of your career when it comes to your landing into an it segment with a proper perspective in your mind all right so let us help each other and make sure that your career is to right so coming to the q and a uh, any questions from your side you can please unmute or you can type in the question in the chat box and uh, rajmani will take it up yeah thanks amar uh, so yeah j- j- just to add to what amar uh, stated Yeah, I mean it, it. It's always good uh, get uh, help from the professionals, right? Because in 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 case, I mean the the domains that I have discussed or the the, the topics that I have discussed, I mean it, it's a free training and all of them. So you 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 can uh, very much excel on uh, those topics. See, explore. You you can form the the group that I was talking about or the problem picking that I was talking about. They will certainly help you to uh, I mean come up with the uh, what you can say. the the technical aspects of it right once once you undergo the training you will see that okay this is how i can implement all those projects and you 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 can get going right yeah so yeah let's let's just uh, type in the questions uh, really sorry i may not be able to scroll to the previous thing i mean to to take up the question so yeah let's let's just start fresh and uh, i mean in case you have any questions you can uh, start uh, typing in the chat or unmute yourself and then just ask so guys you have access to unmute yourself if you have any query or question please unmute yourself Are you guys able to unmute anyone? If you can try, okay. Yes, sir. We can unmute my ourselves. Okay, great, great. Okay, I see one question. I am a student of Excel Arts, so I have completed my projects and received an internship certification from AI Variant. Uh, so I want to ask what. Uh, whether the certificate is valid to apply it for the companies and show them the six month of experience. So, internship doesn't come under the experience, right? But you can very well mention in 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 your uh, CV that okay, I did the internship. So, internships and the actual job experience are two different thing. But obviously, you 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 can show them that okay, I have this internship experience. So, I hope that answers your question, uh, Aditi. Sir, after registering into Excel. Sorry to interrupt. Can we? Yeah, go can ahead. Can we drop, sir? Ah, uh, yes, sir. So, in continuation, uh, continuation of my ah uh, question, mm-hmm. that ah uh, I have interviewed in one company, and ah uh, they asked me that is this AI variant company, ah uh, like uh, they want to know that is there is such a company existing. Uh, in the market so uh, i answered them yes but uh, yes, eventually yes, they didn't yes. uh, accepted my yes. resume correct ah uh, sorry didn't 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 get your question actually uh, there was some glitch in my side already there is a uh, ai variant company existing in the market uh, yes sir uh, i have uh, researched on that company it's uh, like from excelr only so that company asked me that uh, is this a legal company or uh, in the market so i answered them yes and but they eventually didn't select my resume due to that so is so there anything there, else there, i should add in my resume there, we will we will guide you we will guide you but this is an existing company uh, oh. where we provide where we provide the uh, internships Alright, so all the live projects, uh, taking from 
the ai team all right mm-hmm. we will guide you with it all right okay sir yes thank you all right any other question hello sir this is uh there is still some glitch but yeah maybe maybe, maybe you can say let's l- l- see if you are able to hear you otherwise you can type in chat okay by the time mansa is typing it on chat maybe uh someone else want to unmute yourself and then uh, get it going All right, guys. We will take last two questions from the participants. If you can please unmute yourself and ask your question from the expert. I think that is it. Uh, uh, the session was amazing. So I guess that is the reason why people have cleared all their doubts. All right. So uh, on behalf of the entire Excelar team and specifically the EGL segment, which is everyday learning, and ECAP, which is Excelar's career assurance program segment, uh, I would like to extend my thanks to Rajmini. So Rajmini, your session was truly amazing, and the insight that you have given uh, when it comes to the uh, technical part of the entire tech jobs what is expected from the candidate and what are the perspective of the interviewer and how to land and what could be the journey from classroom to company that was amazingly given to all the candidates and all the participants from your side so we are amazingly like uh, overwhelmed to have you on board it as a speaker for the sub segment uh, so on behalf of uh, the entire x class fraternity i would like to thank Rajmini, on this, and uh, thank you, participants, for uh, your valuable time that you have given the two-hour threshold session that went, which was amazing, and the number of participants was consistently maintained properly. So we have uh, we had around two hundred plus participants in the segment, which is absolutely amazing. So it shows that many of the participants are in need of this particular segment, and they are looking for someone who can train them and guide them throughout the journey. from a classroom to the company all right so uh, with this note uh, i would like to conclude anything from your side rajesh if you want to add uh no i mean uh, thank you so much for giving me this chance and guys uh, i mean uh, just just uh, go through the things basically uh, just uh, I, i think you i mean you have uh, recordings also of all of these in in the youtube so in in case you want to explore uh, more just go through that uh, amar and siraj have anyway Share the uh, forms. You can fill in. In case you want further guidance, you want to connect with me. I am uh, available all over LinkedIn also. So you can connect with with me on LinkedIn. You can very well search my name and then you will uh, get it. So, but but yeah, do do take. I mean, when when it's needed, do uh, take professional help. That's much more needed. That can uh, take you uh, to to your destination a little faster than what uh, I mean uh, how how you can do it yourself. Right. So yeah. definitely definitely thank you thank you rajmani thank you all thank you all the participants and uh, keep yourself tuned in because we are starting tomorrow for a new segment which is 100% free of course training on campus recruitment segment where you can get yourself uh, involved with the training related to work with the spoken english training which starting from 17th of july and it will conclude on 21st of july the time will be 7 pm to 9 pm and also anyone and everyone who wants a career counseling one on one every question and any question any doubt that you have in your mind related to your
career progression, your uh, transition from a non-IT segment into an IT, wherein any data science, data analyst, business analyst, or digital marketing, or any other courses that you feel are suitable for you, we are there to help you out with 100% job in the call guarantee. All right. So stay tuned in. Uh, have a great day. Have a nice evening. Enjoy your day. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. All right, Adi. Thanks, Anshul. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, bye. Thank you, sir.